your friends love you the way you are. Your mentor loves you too much to leave you the way you are. How many of you want to grow and increase? That means I need to be willing to receive correction. Young people, listen. Can all the young people say amen? amen? I thought I'd get as many amens as there are people in the room. <laughs> Don't let anybody ever say, oh, that's, that's the foolishness of youth. Oh, that's just young people. They, 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 they'll learn. That's the ignorance of the youth. No, I don't care how young you are. You open yourself to these things, and you will find that wisdom will bypass even the most educated person amongst us. Amen? The discernment of youth, the ability to see into something and to understand it. And he says here, verse 5, The wise will hear, the wise will hear, and increase in learning. And the person of understanding will acquire skill and attain to sound counsel so that he may be able to steer his course rightly. How many of you want to steer your course into the fullness of the destiny that God has set for you? And this is how you do it. Notice he says here, to do this, that you are a wise person, you hear and increase in learning. You're never going to stop learning. Never stop learning. Always be reading. Always be listening. Can I get a bigger amen? amen. See, today's society has got us hooked on these little two-minute videos. If anything goes longer than five minutes, people are already buying, they're jumping to the next video. So it's like, go, 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 go. Oh, I'm bored now. That's too long. Oh, that's too long. That's too long. I'm bored. Read something. Pick up a book. No, I, I, I can just go. And, and they've even got books now. You can get something that you can download, audio book, where they take a whole book and, and put it in two minutes of explanation. Yeah, I can explain the Bible in two minutes, but you're not going to get everything out of it. We need to take time to read and study. Notice, increase in skill. Increase in skill. I don't know why no one ever promotes me. Well, the way you came in, not you, you this, this, this guy who moans he never gets promoted. You came in with a set of skills, and two years later, you, you're less effective than you were back then. Because now you didn't just come in with the skills you had, now you've got lazy because now you know you can get away with things when the boss is not here. And so you want to be promoted? You want to be promoted, if you want to be paid, you're paid for the problems you solve. You're not paid because you're sitting at a desk. See, that, that's the fallacy of this entitlement generation. Just because I've got a job, now you must pay me. No, who said that? You're paid for the problem you solve. Why is the lawyer paid a certain fee and the guy who empties a dustman paid a certain fee? Because the guy who empties the dustbin, you can find anybody to. You can even find someone who's not even trained. You say, this is how you empty a dustbin. You got it? Okay, go. Didn't take much training, did it? So, if the guy says, well, I don't want the job. Okay, next. They're all over. So, now, but with a lawyer, you got to know what you're paying for. You getting this? Reminds me of, they were trying to solve a problem. It was this, the ship wasn't working. And all the top engineers were there, all the educated people, they couldn't get the ship to work. Eventually someone said, you know, there's an old guy living down in the village. He's, he's, he, I mean, we don't even know when he was born. He's, he's ancient of days. <laughs> but uh, he, he just knows ships. So maybe we, he can give us some insight. He arrives and he's got a little old rusted toolbox, walks in, what's the problem? They show him, and he, he turns the engine, tries to get things started, and vroom, 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 he listens, he says, I know exactly what it is. He reaches in, gets his big spanner, and he, boom, hits that head block just in a certain position, and they fire him. The ship starts up. The whole engine starts to turn. They said, wow. So he says, 
they hands it right on, on little piece of paper, his bill, hands it to them, $10,000. They said, $10,000? All you did was hit that engine block. He says, I'm not charging you for hitting the engine block. I'm charging you because I know where to hit. <laughs> you see, that, th that's what we're talking about here. How does he know that? Experience, studying. He knows his skill. He knows his trade. So that's where you demand income. You getting this? You paid for what you know. You paid for the problem you solved. How many of you want to see your salary double? You need to double the problems you've been solving. Come on now. You've got to make yourself that way. How do you do that? By increasing in skill, increasing in understanding. Does this help somebody today? How many of you got what, what was worth coming here for today? You got everything you need? Okay, praise God. Let's keep going then. So say this, I am increasing... In skill, I attain sound counsel. Hallelujah. Look at verse 7. The, rev the reverent and the worshipful fear of the Lord is the beginning and the principle and choice part of knowledge. It's the starting point and it's the essence. Did you hear that? How many of you want this knowledge I've just been talking about? How many of you want understanding? The beginning, the choice part of knowledge, the starting point, the essence of knowledge is the reverent, worshipful fear of the Lord. Now, how you know when we talk about the fear of the Lord, we're not talking about the spirit of fear. God has not given us a spirit of fear, not the demon. He's given us a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. This is talking about reverent worship. This is honoring God. And in honoring God, that is the beginning point of this kind of insight and understanding. And he says yeah, he finishes off by saying, but fools despise skillful and godly wisdom, instruction, and discipline. Fools despise instruction and discipline. Some people have a hard time when you correct them. They say, you know, you're always correcting me. Well, if you were doing it all right, I wouldn't need to correct you. Hello? How many of you are willing to admit you're perfect? No one? Okay, so somewhere we're going to need correction. Isn't that right? See, here's the thing. Your friends love you the way you are. Your mentor loves you too much to leave you the way you are. Oh, let me say it again. I said your friends love you the way you are. Your mentor loves you too much to leave you the way you are. How many of you want to grow and increase? That means I need to be willing to receive correction. See, I don't see correction as a negative thing. I don't see it as a discipline. I don't see it as an insult to my ability. Some people, you try and help them and try and correct them, and they see it as an attack on their character. Well, you're telling me I don't know what to do? Well, if you knew what you were doing, it wouldn't have broken so let's talk about how to make sure that doesn't happen again. Not because I'm angry with you or upset with you, because I want to see you grow and increase. I want to see you become more Christ-like. I want to see you walking in the fullness of this wisdom. How many you say amen? amen? How many willing to receive that? Lift your hand and say, I refuse to be a fool. I don't despise counsel, wisdom. Instruction, discipline, I'm open to receiving skillful and godly wisdom. Say it again. I'm open to receive skillful and godly wisdom. Amen.
Come and have a look at Proverbs chapter 4. So now, that's Solomon giving us inroads into why he wrote the book of Proverbs. Verse 1. Hear, my children, the instruction of a father. Give attention to no understanding. Now, how do you know what give attention means? If I said, everybody, look up, give me attention. Look at that. All the faces came up. Whatever you were typing stopped. Guy messaging went, what? <laughs> Hello. What happened? Now you're focused. So if I'm going to give attention to understanding, it doesn't just happen by accident. I'm going to need to set time aside to look into this. I need to know this particular situation. I'm, I need to know what skill sets I need. I need to know what knowledge I need. I need to know, increase my understanding of the product. I need to know how to apply it. I need to know how to work with it. I need to know people. I need to grow my emotional intelligence. I need to know how to fellowship. I need to know how to interact. I need to know how to negotiate. Come on, are you getting a hold of this? These are things we need to give attention to. Everybody say, give attention. And he says here in verse 2, For I give you good doctrine. I give you good teaching here. Don't forsake my law. When I was my father's son. Now who's his father? This is King David. So Solomon's saying, When I was a little boy with King David, tender, the only one in the sight of my mother, he also taught me, and he said, let your heart retain my words, keep my commands, and live, get wisdom, oh, do you see it? David brought this young boy up, and he said to him, and he said, when I was young, this is what my father drilled into me. Get wisdom, get wisdom, get wisdom, get wisdom, get wisdom, get wisdom. So when God says, what is it that you need? What can I give you? He went, can you see how important it is to raise our children Right? Don't think that you over repeating yourself on anything ever. Every time a child says, Yeah, I know you said that before. And say it again. Say it again. Uh, yeah, no, uh, you always you always say that, Dad. Yeah, let me say it again. Because the day will come up when you have an encounter with God and you meet him personally as your Lord and Savior, you are positioned. Ready for his fullness. Hallelujah. And so David drilled this into young Solomon. He said, get wisdom. Listen to this. In all you're getting, he says, get understanding. Don't forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake wisdom. She will preserve you. Love wisdom. She will keep you. Wisdom is the Principal thing. The principle. What does principle mean? It, its root word is prince. Prince means first. First in line. Are you with me? The, the father's the king. He gives birth to the first son. That's the prince. He's first in line for the throne. Wisdom is the first principal thing. Remember Hosea 4.6? My people are destroyed because they don't have enough money. Oh, is that not what it says? My people are destroyed because they were born the wrong time, or born the wrong color, or born in the wrong school, wrong side of the railway line, for lack of education. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. See, someone says, I have a money problem. No, sir, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Everybody makes enough money 
to be a millionaire. Oh, I don't see that. See, that's, that, the reason you don't see it? No wisdom. Because I can point you to people that have been born into wealthy families and have landed up on Poverty Row. And people who have been born that struggled, didn't have a dad, was, were, were, every mom looked, grandmother looked after them. They were poverty stricken, in living in mud, struggling and battling to find food, and yet today are doing, they millionaires, multi-millionaires. What was the difference? It wasn't where they started. So it wasn't a money problem. It's a wisdom problem. See, someone doesn't have a drug problem. They have a wisdom problem. See, if you know what... Now, I may be getting on some people's cases here, but I'm your mentor to help you. See, if you knew what cigarettes are doing to your body, you wouldn't want to smoke it. Okay, I, 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 I move on. Because that's true in every area. I just happen to pick that because there's so much knowledge out there. Hello? But we have to put the knowledge aside and say, I don't care. And that's what destroys us. See, if I understood that put those chemicals in my body through food, it's like one doctor wrote a book. He says, that disease doesn't kill us. We do. So we are the ones that eat in a way that causes disease in our bodies. You getting this? So what we put in, the fuel we put in, your body reacts a certain way. So here's the thing. I don't have a weight problem. It's a wisdom problem. I'm going to come knocking on your door somewhere. <laughs> See, I, I want to make sure we get this because if you can get this, then I can never again moan and complain. I don't understand why this is not working out for me because there is a solution. All I need to go, because when I saw this, I didn't see that as an insult. When, when I first heard that from a man of God, I didn't go, excuse me. You know, I was also a few kilograms over. I was carrying a nice little spare tire around and I was, you know, I, I, I didn't go, I don't, you just don't understand. You know that? No, I went, really? And I started looking into it. I found out and I did my research. Yes, I got the scriptures. Yes, I got the word of God. But there's some practical things that need to be done on the ground. And I discovered these foods produce health. If this action produces strength in the body, you do this, you're going to get this way. If you invest over here, you're going to make more money. If you stop with the debt, you're going to get into a place of provision. In other words, all you have to do is close the hole, then you won't be in debt anymore. Spend less than you're earning. Hello. The most amazing debt-free advice. Just spend less than you're earning. Boom. You solved the problem. See, we all know that. If I, asked, if, if I said, yeah, how, how, what's the quickest way to lose weight? I guarantee you. If I said, how do you lose weight? How do you stay healthy? How do you get out of debt? How do you become a millionaire? We'd get all the information out here. We, can, we could, together here, we could write a book on success. So it's not for lack of that knowledge. It's the insight and the understanding to it. The willingness to pay the price to put it into action. That's the key here. See, wisdom is the principal thing. That's the beginning of your solution. Say that. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Huh. Now, he had to actually tell his son to do that. If wisdom is the principal thing, then you have to tell someone... Therefore, get wisdom. Say, I receive that. Now listen to this. And in all 
you're getting. Get understanding. In all you're getting, get understanding. See, if you think about it, this world, before we knew Jesus, was all about getting. Get an education, get a job, get a wife, get children, get a house, get, get, a, get a mortgage bond, get, 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 a, get debt, get, 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 get a ring, get gold, get, to get, 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 get more car, get more, get, get, get device, get another device, get new device, get, 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 get. Isn't, isn't this world about getting? And in all your getting, get understanding. Get understanding. Because all the stuff that we're trying to get, instead of chasing it like a never-ending rainbow that you're never going to find the end of, is when you get understanding. If you understand how the world works, you understand how financial systems work, you understand how businesses work, you understand how companies employ, how you can be a solution to a company, if you understand how God's system works, if you understand the kingdom of God, then all the getting you're trying to do will just happen. Seek first the kingdom of God, His righteousness, all these things will be added to you. Hallelujah. Say that in all my getting, get understanding. Wisdom, exalt her, verse 8. She will promote you. Not your boss. Wisdom will promote you. Wisdom will bring you honor when you embrace her. Wisdom will place on your head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. Wisdom will deliver to you. Now hear, my son, receive my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. How many want to live a long life to fulfill all God's called you to do? I have taught you in the way of wisdom. I've led you in the right paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. When you run, you will not stumble. Take firm hold of instruction. Don't let go. Keep her. She is your life. Hallelujah. How many want to grow in instruction? Make a decision tonight. That's your life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the... Now let's learn how to live that life. You get something tonight? How many receive something? How many ready to grow in this wisdom? We're going to dig deeper. Amen? That's all we've got time for tonight. But I believe we've got a huge door open to us. So now you've got Proverbs. Access to wisdom that made Solomon great. You can tap into it and receive it. And the key is apply Join us for a time of celebrating our Lord and Savior Jesus. The Bay Christian Family Church will be putting on a Christmas production and Alan and Janine Bagg invite you to join us for a special celebration of our Lord and Savior Jesus. It will be taking place on these dates and at these times at the Bay Christian Family Church and we encourage you to book your seats to be part of this time of celebrating Jesus. That's our Christmas production taking place at the Bay Christian Family Church on these dates and at these times. For any info and to book your seats, please go to allenbagministries.org. Join us at the Bay Christian Family Church as we see the New Year in in the glory and presence of our God. Happy New Year, family! Bless New Year! We as a ministry will be stepping into our 30 years of ministry and the exciting year and direction He has in mind for us in 2024. This is always one of our most exciting services at this time of the year. Get ready for New Year. I'm telling you, the most amazing things are about to take place. So we encourage you to come early to be part of this special service. Come and see in the new year in the glory and presence of our God. That's our New Year's Eve service. 
taking place at 10 p.m. at the Bay Christian Family Church. For any info, please visit us online at allenbagministries.org. How many of you desire to see the power of God in your life? You want to see miracles, signs and wonders? As believers, we can all operate in the power of God. There's a demonstration power that God wants to show His presence so that people will be attracted to know who this God is. In this series, Alan Bank shares how relationship comes before power. You will see power because of your relationship. In this series, you will learn that relationship with the Father enables Jesus to fulfill His purpose. I believe we need to renew our mind. Through relationship comes power, and that power is for a purpose. Visit us online or make use of any of these details, but get hold of your series, deepen your relationship with the Father, and discover the key to seeing God's power working through your life. Jesus operated in power because of relationship with the Father. How amazing is that? Now that is just one of the things that you could learn from this series. I really want to encourage you to get a hold of a copy of these. You can contact us at the details below and get your hands on a copy and watch your relationship with Jesus deepen even further. Now my friend, to experience the full power of God, it begins with a relationship with Jesus. And if you have not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I'd like to give you the opportunity to do that right now. So let's pray this together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus. I believe he died and rose again. Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And congratulations, my friend. We are so excited that you have made this decision. If this was your first time making this decision, please won't you contact us at the details below. There's a free gift that dad would like to get into your hands. There are a few tools to help you build your faith and encourage your new relationship with Jesus. So just contact us at the details below and we'll get that to you right away. Well, family, that's all we have time for today. I want to encourage you to join us again tomorrow so that we can continue learning about our relationship with God. This is Brittany reminding you that Jesus is Lord. Life is a choice. Choose life.